Black art and music is rich with heritage and tradition, triumph and struggles, but it's still far from the mainstream. We're about to meet a group of artists who are working to change that by preserving the past and forging a new path forward. We begin with artist Barry Johnson. He's part of a group show at a local gallery showcasing black artists. I'm a visual artist that works across all mediums. My work is about um, highlighting the injustices that have taken place with black and brown folk, historically present, and creating a better future for us by like being able to put us in the art canon. Historically, whenever you go to a museum, one of the things that you're least likely to see is just normal images of black and brown people. So I wanted to start making a number of paintings that highlight black and brown people. So for the Red Works, they were at a time when I was doing this series, it was about how black and brown folk about our history covered up or distorted to fit another party's narrative. That's particularly like why there's no faces on these. Um, one of the things that's really interesting about a portrait is once you take the eyes away from it, you force the viewer to do something else with the work. So by doing that and, you know, by naturally painting these super dark figures and painting them in red, you know, talks about how we've died and how we've had our history blocked, stepped on, distorted. And the works that are on the side there, the black and white works, they're made out of iron oxide. They're part of my favorite series because these works are self-destructing works. Because they're made with iron oxide, um, it's just a natural thing that's gonna fall off the canvas over time. So these works over time are going to fall apart, leaving nothing except a trace of what was once there. And that's really like my hope in the work is that once everything falls off this canvas, it'll just leave a mark of what was once there. A lot of the issues that we're dealing with around social injustices, a lot of issues around black and brown folk dying, women having their rights taken away. I just want a mark of what was once there. Everyone here is amazing. And they were like, hey, we're thinking about this group show. Um, are you interested in being a part of it? And I was like, absolutely, absolutely. Like, I love coming down here. We all got this prompt that was like, let it be known. What do you have to say about that? So before you came in, I was looking at the wall and it's got all these individual statements from the artists. And it's like, oh yeah, like, it's no surprise that we're all speaking the same language around equality, around being able to have space opportunities. So I think that a lot of once was was just that. You know, history is history. So as we look at the future and like what today's generation of artists, people, what the future looks like, I think we're doing it. The works that I got really excited about were the individual flags. Um, I always look to look how someone can take like work off of a canvas. So the flags attached with the combs, the universal Pan-African flag, those are just incredibly strong works. To be able to provide such a new take on a flag is something that I'm really taken aback. I've never seen someone mount something on top of a flag. I cannot be more excited about this show. There's a really strong showcase of work here. Let It Be Known is open through the end of the month at the Industry One Gallery in downtown Portland. 